hello everyone welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are not new welcome back to my channel in this video as you can see the pencil sketch this is Ariel from the new movie uh, the little mermaid 2023 the actress that is playing her role is uh, Haley Bailey and she's so sweet I mean I watched this movie to the cinema the movie came on 26th of uh, May I already watched it and I decided to paint her so the movie I watched was 3d 4dx and it had a lot of uh, underwater cool scenes it was so captivating after I added all the colors that I needed on the color palette I started to build up the face skin tones to be honest I didn't paint a lot before the a dark skin tone so it was a bit challenging for me but once you have the painting skill it shouldn't be that hard you know just keep going keep going until you get where you want I want to mention that the acrylic paint that I use it's from Art Studio. They uh, they were cheap, I think 1 pound each uh, tube and they are 59 milliliters. Yeah, it's a small tube but great price and they were not very very opaque, but I didn't mind cuz I added more uh, more layers if I needed to. The white opaque that I'm using it's Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Acrylic Titanium White. And the brushes that I'm using, they are uh, different sizes and different brands. One brand that I'm using, it's Filbert System 3 Deller Rowney. Another brand that I'm using, it's from Jackson Procryl. Another one, it's Bold Mare or Bold Mare. I'm not sure how you say it. Bold Mare. And yeah, that's all. I will leave all this stuff in the, in the video description, so please check that out. So I mixed uh, about three colors, a light color, a darker one, I mean four, and another darker one, more darker, and a middle tone. I loved the way the cheeks came out, it was like a reddish color, but it looked so nice. More further in the video you will see time lapse because the process is the same, the way I paint is the same, it's just I'm doing the same thing and uh, I don't want this video to be very very boring so that's why the first part of the video it's more real time and the second part it's time lapse if you wanna see me in the future painting any new character any actor or actress please let me know in the comments if you are new also please to subscribe this channel it helps me a lot i want to grow this channel as much as i can i'm gonna be more active and i'm uh, I, I had a break to be honest because i didn't know what to paint sometimes i find hard you know to get my ideas to know what to paint there are so many subjects I like, so many things I like to paint, but in the end, I must focus on, on uh, what I like the most. So painting portraits, I don't say it's easy. I just say it's, uh, in a way, it's relaxing doing this. The scary part is when you have the blank, the blank paper in front of you and you, you know, you must start building um, the skin tones the details eyes lips nose and it's a bit scary at the beginning but once you just you know put the colors on the paper or on the canvas you just keep going and i'm saying it's scary only because you don't want to make any mistake you want to be perfect and because it's hard to get perfect maybe with oil paint it's more easy i decided to not put so many pressure on me and everything i did was like loose painting loose not focusing on perfection you can see the face is not perfect blended you know the colors on the face they are not perfect blended and the hair you will see later on i didn't focus so much which is great because i feel i paint and in the meantime i feel relaxed you know when you try to be perfect when you try to paint perfect then well it's a bit frustrating stressful so i don't want that anymore so that's why maybe you will see that this is not perfect blended it's a loose style but it's more relaxing if you didn't try this before i suggest you to try only if you want to relax a bit and take break from making everything perfect so yeah 
I will let you enjoy now the rest of the video. Any suggestion you have, please let me know in the comments. Bye guys! Thank you.